cycling isn't the only mode of transport synonymous with the forest. Teams of huskies are a familiar sight to many early morning visitors. Caroline Kisco brings her dogs here to train three times a week in preparation for their winter races, which are held across the country. I've been racing huskies for about the last 25 years. Uh, we got our first husky, it would be about 25 years ago, and once you get one, you go and get another one, and then you're off. We train all year round, not everybody does, but actually we believe that they are athletes. Um, once we get to sort of September, October, then we start to increase the training in terms of numbers of runs and distance. Um, and gradually as we get into the winter, then we start racing um, and you fit your training really around the racing weekends. If you want to do husky racing, you've got to be able to take the knocks because the dogs are full of excitement and they go back in the van and they're calm and they're quiet. Um, but up until that point, they're completely manic and they're not the same dogs that you've got lying at home sitting behaving themselves. They'll whack you with their legs or they'll you know, get you under the chin as they bounce up and down. And they're not out to hurt you, but just their sheer excitement is, is quite, quite hard to handle. As Caroline runs her team on trails open to the public, she uses a quad bike when training. So if need be, she can apply the brakes. Thetford Forest is one of those areas that is, is almost unique in the country in that we've got sandy trails, we've got a lot of grass and it is a surface that we can run on. So we're very lucky here. If, if there's a disadvantage it's only that it's pretty flat so the dogs are not that used to going up and down hills which obviously when we go racing that's all around the country so you do need to be able to do hills as well. G, 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 Elena, G, G, good girl, well done everybody, good dog, well done.